So what's going on guys? It's Brandon here. And it's Jamie here. And today we're actually going to be giving you a game review. Yeah. So as you know, it's the 10th anniversary of Final Fantasy Freddy's, which pretty much defined the indie genre. One of Absolutely. the biggest uh, games of all time. And as part of the celebrations, the creator announced a full week of releasing games, of uh, doing special little things with the community. <clears throat> and one mm. of the special games was this. Five laps at Freddy's. <laughs> Honestly, I am so happy to see this. Now, I've already played this, and this is going to be Jamie's first experience of the game. We've already mapped controls, so yep, you don't have um, to sit through that. I'm scared. I've seen the yeah. controls, and I'm scared. There is so much. Now, um, my opinion on this game isn't sour. It just needs work. Now, it does say work in progress. I get that. But you can't really call it a demo if it's still a work in progress. So, uh, okay. one more thing to mention before we start this. It is actually Jamie's birthday today. So I want you all to wish him a happy birthday in the comments. Right uh, then. All right. Uh, uh, so if you're uh, wondering, uh, it'll be me playing it, then Brandon's just going to be nagging in my ear. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not playing this. I've already played it. What it's not the hell is that? Huh? <laughs> Uh, to be fair, the what models is, aren't bad. What the hell is I like that? I like the models. <laughs> they, they, they're, they're goofy. Um, um, yeah. Continue. Let's eat. So let's, man, let's not. Let's not eat. No. Yeah. Huh? Why is it looking at me like that? Oxy got that kind of. He kind of backwards, you know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, actually, really actually, well. I like that one. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> I'll give me the coolest looking character in here. Spring trap. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's tough competition. No, good point. Um, and they yeah, said, so... and they said FNAF couldn't go to Fortnite. <laughs> so, basically, right in the corner, you'll notice something called class, and yep. that basically <coughs> is the weight class. So, obviously. Uh, green means light, yellow is medium, and red is heavy. Right. Chocker, chinker is heavy. I've got a couple of questions um, then. Yeah. So why is the animatronic, which is literally just in parts and has lost multiple things, heavy? Yeah, I'd never understood that myself. And then if you look at Balloon Boy, right? Go to Balloon Boy. So he's a lightweight, right? Why is he about as tall as Freddy? Why is... Why? Why? Why is Chica a heavy? Okay. Chica makes Why sense as a heavy. Why is Foxy a light character? Fat. Fo Foxy's a light character because he's quick. He's nimble. He runs. Right. Well, I think we need to go with a medium weight or something. Just, uh, just yeah, so there's that. only two medium weights in the game. Freddy and Bonnie. Right. Alfredo or Benito. That's the one. Uh, I, I will try this out with the with the Bon. The Bon Bon. The Bon Bon. Right. Uh, okay. What the fuck is what the fuck is select? Hi. Uh, I think it literally is a. Yeah, there you go. What is it? Right. No, it, it yeah. isn't. It isn't a. What was it? I clicked on it. Oh. Right. So we've got the anyway, standard yeah. cart. Nightmare fuel. Right. And All we got these cars uh... are interesting. I like the standard cart. Pretty, pretty simple. It looks yeah. like the side of the restaurant. Very good. We've got uh, the uh, we brute, we got the brute from Mario Kart DS. <laughs> well, I think that fits quite well as the Midnight Motor, like Purple Guy's car. Yeah, Very yeah. Cool. I mean, it was from the uh, it was from the game Midnight Motor, was not it? That's the one. And then um, you've also got the cupcake, which is the cup cart, which I guarantee will be meta. Almost definitely guarantee that will be meta. Right. I think it's only right. I give it that. Oh, all right, we got three tracks, I think. Yeah. Yep, three Fast tracks. Hills, Fast Hills, Midnight Mid Motorist, and the Sink and the Sinkhole. Yeah. All right. Anyway, take it away, Bob. We are pretty, uh, pretty good at uh, criticizing level designs, by the way. If you didn't know. Yes. So, a few things I find interesting about this, right? And you'll see it as the track develops. But I personally really, really enjoy the level design of this first track. Like the layout is smooth as hell, and 
it kind of okay. you, you, you just you really do that. get a feel for how the game should move. One thing I will say though, I don't like that it counts you out of bounds when you leave the trap. Not a fan. Well, that just looks like it does nothing. Yeah, it's a little bit lackluster looking. Let's get some mini turbo. Oh, you do get mini turbo. Okay. Oh, interesting. Night what? Sorry. Yeah, night shift. Oh. Okay. Now, I'm personally not a fan of this. I like this. I. I thankfully, cool. right? I can see the edge of the track. What's right. with the, okay, so I don't know what's going on yet, uh, but what's with the batteries? Is it like mini turbo? Uh, pretty much, yeah. So that's your turbo in the bottom right. Security door, okay. Yep, as an item. I like that, that's clever. Don't forget you can switch items as well. So you might be hearing something roaring in the background. I assume it's going that. so yeah. slow, I'm going to get jump scared. You'll meet that soon enough. He comes for everybody. I like that this first track has a split path. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. The controls now, with... are very stiff. Yeah, they're stiff, but I think they work. I think they work for this game. Uh, I hate the drifting. Yeah, uh, the, the, the drift wrong. is fairly functional. Um, I can't even see where the AI are. I think I'm probably going to get lapped soon. Yeah, probably. One one Ooh. massive Ugh. critique from the UI I have, right? Where's the map? There's no map. Yeah, there is no map. And I don't like that. You're catching them, you're catching them. Nice. Yeah. And it's Foxy at the back. I'm not surprised. I genuinely think the lightweight characters have a massive disadvantage in this game. Because they're slow as balls and the drifting is clunky, so it's, it's really difficult to make it back. Yep, so if I don't drift, it's actually better. Look that. Yeah, much better. Okay, so they have a meter system. Like if you look, yeah. it shows you how close and away like other people are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's their, I suppose, their substitution for the map. But why but not make a I map? I would much prefer a map over that. I honestly think that the whole leaving the track is out of bounds and then it like respawning you, I hate that. I'm not a fan. That basically discourages shortcuts. Especially when speed items actually exist in the game. So like... Yeah. Yeah. Um... Okay, so it doesn't seem very... Intuitive, if you get what I mean. No, the controls aren't friendly or basic. There's random, complicated mechanics that I don't even understand what's going on. Like, if you even touch the outside of the track, you're out of bounds. Yeah, I have to be really I'm confused. Yeah, anyway, let pr pr maybe pick a different weight class this time. Yeah, right, come on, I'm going mangle. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, mangle, and then maybe, maybe a different car. Why not? So, something I noticed as well is that though all three of the cars actually change their stats based on... Um, uh, like, based on the weight class the character you select. Okay, I like that. It's good. So, like, the heavier characters are quicker. So, they make cars oh, slightly faster. It's Moonview Highway. Yeah, basically. This is literally Midnight okay. Matters. So I find it interesting that you're actually playing as uh, the dog, you know? Because, you know, like the Fruit Maze game in FFPS? Yeah. yeah. He's found the shortcut. Yeah, the Fruit Maze game is like, that's where you find out about the, the dead dog.
Uh, okay. And so, like, that's another one of those, like, mini-games that appears in, uh, FFPS alongside Midnight Motorist. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's not fun at all. Honestly, I'd rather get hit by a car on Movie Ooh. Highway. But yeah, this this, seems, this this section's very cool. I like that they all glow purple. Shocker. You shouldn't be surprised, but I like it when they glow purple. Right. Now, I personally think the edge of the track is really difficult to see here. Yeah. That's not fun. Yeah. You're in second, at least. Do you see what I mean about the, uh, the 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 fast character, the heavy characters being like better? Yeah, I see what you mean. You get uh, less resistance uh, from drifting as a result of the yeah. handling being worse, which is actually better because the drifting is very sharp. Yeah, yeah. It's just weird. It is very strange, but but yeah, no, the drift is very sharp. It's so strange. Like, when this game becomes multiplayer, we'll be happy to do another video on the channel of us both playing it. Yeah, and let us know if you want to see more, like, FNAF stuff as well, because we quite like it. Yeah, yeah. Or just reviewing other racing games like this in general. We're happy to do that, too. Right. Oh, yeah, you can you can charge your jump, by the way. Hold down the jump button. You can charge it. Yeah, here you go. Oh, great. Uh... I am going in a direction. Yeah. Fantastic. If the game wasn't dark, you'd have spotted that rock. But there you go. I mean, I love that it's raining blood. That's awesome. Yeah, very, very good. Very good. And if you know the lore oh. as well, like, it's very, very nice. Mm. That being said, I wish they had, like, some sort of... Like out outside, like line or something, to show me. Yeah, where there's, I am. there's no line of demarcation for the edge of the trap. It's literally just stopper. Like for Fazbear Hills, there was a line on the edge, and that was great. That was perfect. That's what we need on every track, especially yeah. if you are going to keep this night shift mode. I think this is this track is better than. Whatever the hell that is. You think the track's better than Fazbear Hills? Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Honestly, um, I, I don't. Like... I don't like the nightmare mode though. Yeah, no. The the night shift mode is very weird. See, like you want to be able to cut across the grass there. You want to be rewarded yeah. with doing a shortcut, but you can't because the game tells you no. Oh, I forgot. It's five laps. Yeah. Five laps at Freddy's. And that's where this track falls apart a little bit for me. It's five because this track's long. long. Really long. So five laps just... is almost six minutes. In fact, I think it is like over six minutes. That's For the context, that's longer than N64 Rainbow Road. Yeah. And... You, you, you can't... You can, you can kind of understand is why there, Nintendo um... never did a six minute track ever again. the hell? Are you good? Not particularly. You've, uh, you're very lucky so far. You've not come off, you've not, um, come across that guy yet. I don't want to know who the guy is. But what I did notice is that there's a shortcut here. Yeah. You're going for it. Oh no, no, I'm not going for it. <laughs> you got, you got another chance to go for it. This is terrible design. What the hell? Yeah, literally oncoming traffic into a turn. Nah, and that 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 goes for both sides as well. By the way, you're dealing with oncoming traffic both sides. And a lot of people might be looking at that going skill issue, but like, no. 
You want to reward the player for getting past, not smack them. Oh, bro's getting the bro's chaining them drifts. Let's go. I was, and then I realised this course is designed to be something that is stupid. Mm. I, the thing is, is that I can't remember the layout because there's no map. Literally. If I had a map, I'd be able to memorize every turn and go around them correctly. But I'm stuck for remembering, you know what I mean? I have to say though, the the, the visual reference to Midnight Motorist here is really cool. That's what this game is though, it's just all visuals. Yeah, uh, like, the game is very tailored to looking good rather than playing good, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think, and I no, think it's this isn't in need of some serious work. Right, if you're, a, if you're a FNAF fan and you want to race a game, sh give this a go, I think. Mm. But this is a very poorly made racing game. Yeah, it's a better FNAF game than it is a better racing game. Yeah. Right, lightweight character now, and then you'll see the difference. All right. He's All playing right. good old Chico Globo. The hard track. Rainbow Road, but it's Detroit. So this is uh, the sinkhole. And uh, you know how he was talk just talking about how the visuals were good? Yeah. Yeah. I, I want the other track back. This, oh. one, this The visuals are boring. Uh, it's nice to see they brought back Rosaline's Ice World as a retro track. <laughs> I oh just dear. went... Oh dear. Okay. Okay. There well, we go. Then. You know what? I'm not gonna. I, I don't care about winning this rate. I'll give. I'll give this like exotic buttons. Nice. I love that item. It just needs a nerf because it's way too big. <coughs> Physics won't be that. That's some Mario Kart Wii shit right there. This is better in the night mode. But this is meant to be yeah, honestly, this is security the, the, breach, the, isn't it? The, the day version of the of the map looks boring. There's no life here. Yeah. This is uh Yep, that's brilliantly designed. You watch the camera have an absolute shit fit in a minute. What the hell? Nice. Good stuff, yep. Yeah, why not? Now, I can almost definitely say that every time I've played this track, right, and I'm not even lying here, every time I've played this track, it has soft locked itself. Really? Yes. Ooh. This track is buggy as hell. It's a neat concept, obviously a callback to FFPS. This track but isn't. Uh, this this track is it FFPS? Yeah, because it because it's um. What's oh it yeah, called? Un under security breach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That that this room proves it here. You don't keep acceleration when you land. Yeah, and you just lose it all. Right. Whoa, hi, have fun. Have fun. Get ready. Whee! Is it changing every lap? No, no, the you you just went a different route. There you go, you kept your acceleration that time. Oh I love that. I mean collision is collision. Yes. I I'm sorry if I'm not talking too much, but I'm like, I'm a little bit, a little bit disgusted. Yeah. You're, you're taking it in, aren't you? Okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, yep, yeah, small carts, not the way to go. Definitely not. 
Hi, Bonnie. Hi right there, pal. Yeah. Bit rude. <laughs> Got him dead. Enjoy. Yeah, and then once once you drive 500 meters away from a character, it just that's it. They're just gone away from you. Yep. Yep. Da, 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 da. Well, I found an ultra shortcut, guys. <laughs> and there we go. It's happened as I suspected it would. Three, two, one, and respawn. Yep, there we go. Cool. So, this is um, a bit of a soft lock. There he is. We apologize for anybody who wasn't expecting that. I'll add a jump scare warning in this time. And respawn. There you go. So, we'll leave it here, right? Hold um, on. We're going to just sort of, I, I think, quit might quit the game? No, okay, it goes to menu. Right, yeah. Okay, what I will do is, right, I, I'm just gonna play... I'll play as another character. Uh, just go, mm. go with Weirdo over here. Right. Yeah, alright. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start chalking up some criticisms I have with this. Yeah. Alright, so. Firstly, this. Right, the track itself isn't blended into the environment, rather it's just something that you placed on top. Yeah. Right? I'm not even gonna touch on this. This was this was two seconds. Yeah. Like we're not even ten seconds into the track and you can clip through the wall. Right? This is so anti track design. Look at this. If you fall off, where how do you get how do you get back on? Oh. Yeah. Oh you gotta wait till you drive further up the track. Yeah, that's grand. Oh yeah, I'm stuck by the way. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. 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 That that turn that you just went round is not intuitively designed because you you're given a choice, but you can't make that choice because the game makes that choice for you. What what are they trying to do with this camera? I, I have can't no decide idea, what man. they're trying to do. If you want anti-grav, add anti-grav. But, okay, so what, the key with Mario Kart 8, now, every time you use anti-grav in that game, right, your camera stays the same and it's the character that moves. Right? Yeah. You don't, you don't just suddenly appear sideways. What is this? Oh, has it happened again? More... Most likely, yeah. Uh... Yep. Do you see what I'm saying? This track is not finished. They literally released a f an unfinished track. This is like if they released Test Circle. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that too. What? <laughs> Alright. Fantastic. Yep. Functional. Yeah, I'm now yep. stuck. <laughs> yep. And it's honestly right, the saving grace is the pause button. Right. Oh, that's oh. all lovely. Okay, yep. I wanna wait, I wanna see if the uh, if the night guy can get me can get me up here. You he might, who knows? This honestly, this feels like some next level Mario Kart Wii shit right here. If you had another car behind you to push you through, you'd be able to make it. Yeah. Ready? He's going for his turbo. Ah. Oh. Now I'm I'm not actually sure what the area. So I'm not actually sure what that guy does. If he targets last place, or if he. Just so, target nearest person. Uh, I can I can actually tell you what it is, because I've paid attention. What is it? It is every time the night mode starts, uh, it starts to drain your turbo or your battery. If you reach zero and you don't get battery uh, within like a couple seconds, uh, he's yeah. going to come after you. So the second you 
your power turns zero, uh, the okay. night the night guy comes for you. Oh. Okay. Which I think is a very bad mechanic. Taking players away from taking the fastest routes to try and get batteries. Yeah. It's kind of encouraging, like... It, again, it's not encouraging risky play, is it? No, it's not. Oh, yeah. Collision where there's no collision, my favourite. You could have easily remedied that by having something not, like, something there, you know? Something in its way. Like, it's just disappointing. That is a terrible track. Right. Right, yeah. I mean... Is there anything else that we really need to look at here? Oh, let me just remind me what the tracks are. Okay, so... We've got Fazbear Hills, Midnight Motorist, and the Sinkhole. Right, so... Fazbear Hills. Alright. It can't offend me, because it's, it's nothing. It's right. charming, at least, and it's a, clearly a reference to FNAF World, as well. Is it? Yeah, Fastbear Hills, that's the name of the first location. Okay, uh, I mean, it's a circuit yeah. track. Yep. Sure, it's a good showcase, the edges are clearly defined, there's no shortcuts. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the, te the textures up there were unfinished as well, by the way. Yeah, it's not the best. No, what's this, what's this? Yeah. Uh, Min on Motorist. Um, it's a nice highway track. Uh, okay, so if you know um, Moonview Highway, uh, we'll look at both examples, but mainly the Wii one. Yeah. There's no. Okay, with the Wii one, right, it isn't traffic to the point where you can't move like that, where you can get comboed by traffic, right? Yeah. The whole point of the track is, right, do you take a corner riskily, right? Do you, well, you might not know what's coming, right? It doesn't use volume of track as an obstacle, right? It doesn't use volume of traffic as an obstacle, but it uses placement of traffic as an obstacle. And as a result, there is a fair but very difficult twist. That se on. This section that's coming up in a second, this, right, where all the cars are just coming at you, right, and you get comboed by about three of them, that's not yeah. good track design. No, because you just get bullied and you just pinball against every single enemy and you're left frustrated thinking, what could I have done? Yeah. The track is literally against you there. And uh, plus, having that right turn, when you leave the motorway, right, having that right turn into traffic? Terrible. No. Um, that's, not even, that's not even how motorways are even designed. Yeah, it doesn't matter if that's how motorways are designed or not, it's just terrible. Mm. Uh, no, right. yeah, of course. And leading on to that, the forest section, right, where there's no clear, like, okay, if you're going to punish the players for going off the track so much, show them what the track is, right? Yeah, show some them what the edge Some is. marks, dividers, some edges, uh, a mini-map. I don't know why like there it, isn't like a mini-map. Like Fair Hills, where there was a clear edge of the track in both day and night, right, you need that present on Midnight Motorist as well. Yeah. Um, I and think, the, I think finally, the track, the, sinkhole. the tracks look visually appealing. Uh, the two tracks are in the game, and the beta. Yeah. Um, I don't even know where to start with this track. Uh, we couldn't finish it. Yeah, it, it that's that that just kind of that just proves it all by itself just by looking at it. Yep, it's clear right. what the it's track. clear that what they've done is, um, the car sticks to the road. Right. Yeah, I like that because like you, you clear. It's clearly like all gravity based. Like it's going for surfaces and sticking to them and driving to them. But the problem with that is that creates a situation where you can literally drive on the walls. Yeah. Or as I did, literally flip over and drive underneath the track. Yeah, flipping through walls, glitching through objects, and now I understand that there's been some cases in FNAF. Where you're, where you're glitching through walls, right? We don't want that gameplay in a racing game, though. That defeats the object. Yeah, uh, right. What do we say about the I right, the items? There's no massive catch-up item. There's no. no shock. 
There's no blue shell or anything. I don't say we make these exact mechanics, but no, the, idea, the idea you, is you want to keep the pack close off. together, right? Every character was almost equally spaced out. There's one 500 meters behind you and one 500 in front of you. If you were first and you knew what you were doing, you wouldn't ever see the opponents. There's no rubber banding. Exactly. Right? Exactly. There's no, you don't feel under threat. Right? There's no blue shell that's going to come ruin your race. It, like, and then you see the AI as well, just driving into the wall randomly. Yeah, the AI have no idea what they're doing. The AI are terrible, right? And that's not to say that, like, they're made in a bad way. They're just not clever AI. They're not, like, they, they, they don't know how to drive around this track. Because there's, there's too many things that need to go right for you to actually complete a lap on some of these tracks. Yeah. So um, that's where, that's where it loses it a bit. Fundamentally, this is a good homage to FNAF. But this absolutely mm. fails at being a racing game. Yeah. I and think I can, I can absolutely say that it it has potential, right? But right now I wouldn't even I wouldn't even pay money for this if it was fully released. Right? This is this is terrible. Yeah. Right? Um, and definitely good work. This is not demo worthy at all. Okay, I mean I'll okay, let's give it some flowers real quick. Alright. To have that many characters playable from a demo, all right, the cars and the controls, all right, the controls grew grew a little bit, right? They yeah, I, the, once I got the used to them, and I got used to the drifting, right? They're fine. It reminds me quite a lot of the Sonic and Sega All Stars racing controls. In the sense yeah, like you yeah, have yeah. you have to drift With, almost in, like you have to turn in the opposite way to where you're drifting. Right. Yeah, almost identical to that, and yeah. I, I, I kind of to like be honest, when a I lot, first a lot of started drifting like... with it. When I first started drifting with it, I was like, "Oh, okay, this is yeah. this is kind of reminiscent." Where, where have I, where do I remember this? And I was like, "Oh, right, so, yeah." So Something else I as well. Um, you've got glowing red, glowing red item boxes. You've got purple boost, purple boosts, and you've got a, a similar drifting style. This is very reminiscent of that game. Yeah. Um. And that being said, I will get on to probably what I think is my least favourite feature, uh, the night crawl or the death matronic thing. Yeah, whatever that is, right, what is going on there? I get it, you want to make a scary FNAF game, okay? Here's, here's, uh, here's, here's my free idea to the developers, right? If you want to yeah. incorporate jump scares into your game, I get it, you know, FNAF is the jump scare series mm -hmm. use that as a functionality for one or two of the items yeah, make it an item, literally make jump scare an item yeah. and make it only target first place that would be perfect or not even, not even just first place, right say if you had one of the phantom animatronics that came in and ruined your audio like you had phantom mangle or something that would be cool, yeah That's right, what having items based on like maybe the animatronics rather than the items um, or maybe the, maybe items based on like functionalities from <clears throat> like different FNAF games in the series. So you know how there's a door as one of the uh, items. That's clever as hell. I love that. Right, that's really cool. But we, I need more of that. Yeah, I think more of that would be cool. However, what I will say is the my my biggest problem with uh, the, the the night animatronic. And it's the last thing I will say, is that it is very anti racer. Because not yeah. only are you having to go out of your way, right, to avoid the best lines to get these batteries, but it's a mechanic that only really punishes players who are bad and players who are in last. That is not what you want for a racing game. A racing game yeah. should encourage the pack to stay together. It should encourage yeah. uh, you want to a, be a, a comeback. Yeah. Good. You want to be rewarding people who play well, but you don't want to be punishing people who are playing bad. You just want to punish people who make a wrong call, you know? Yeah. Like, if you yeah. drive bad, yeah, punish them, right? But if you're not very good, don't punish them. I mean, you lose quite a lot of battery if you go off the tracks, which for some of these tracks where you don't see the outlines, right, you're just going to get jump scared for the track being very poorly designed. Hmm. I, I, I mean, don't. I, I can say I enjoy the layouts of the first two. The sinkholes layout is garbage, right? But the the layouts of the other two are fine, right? And like they do flow nicely. 
but the sinkhole does not flow at all. Yeah. But anyway, I, I will give this a two out of five, I think. Oh, you're going out of five. I was going to go out of ten. Oh, you're going to go out of ten. Okay. Um. Okay, if it's out of ten, I will give it a three out of ten. The potential is there. I think find a smarter way to incorporate jump scares. Yeah. Uh, find balance the items. Uh, fix whatever that glitch was that couldn't even make me complete one of the tracks. The terrible. Yeah, no, that was that was horrendous. Yeah. But I, I came across that glitch myself on my own run. You came across that glitch, so I imagine it is a packaged bug. Yeah. Right? So that, that's terrible. Um, yeah. My personal ranking for this game at the minute is a three out of ten, and uh, very similar to yours. Really, we we basically have the same issues with the game because we know what we're talking about. <laughs> I think it does a good job at homaging the series that it talks about and the series absolutely. that it presents. Absolutely, yeah. There's it's so great, many it's a great homage to FNAF. Here. And it does look good, right? But it, it, as a racing game, it fails. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, that is about everything we have time for on this vid. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you did enjoy this style of video, then tell us in the comments, right? We want to do more, more stuff like this. Um, but yeah, um, hit that subscribe button for more of our karting content. But that's our checkered flag. So we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. See you, guys.